On your business news, as the price of crude oil grinds towards $100 a barrel, the head of the exporting cartel OPEC forecasts continued strong demand. He warned that underinvestment in capacity could threaten energy security. Security General, uh, Secretary General pardon me, Haitham El Gai spoke at the annual EDIPEC conference in Abu Dhabi. He said calls to stop investing in oil were counterproductive and put several nations at risk. OPEC forecasts the oil industry will need at least $14 trillion of investment between now and 2045. The industry is striving to reinvent itself in the face of growing international opposition to fossil fuels. But there is also pressure from within OPEC to be a part of the solution rather than the problem. Sultan Al Jaber, head of UAE oil group ADNOC and controversially the next president of the upcoming COP28 climate summit, says more can be done by the industry to achieve net zero. But the former US Energy Secretary pointed out in an exclusive interview to CNA that infrastructure for renewable energy is not keeping up with demand in many economies. In the United States and in other parts of the world, the infrastructure may be the pacing item. Uh, for example, in the United States, we have 2,000 gigawatts of capacity waiting to get connected to the grid. Uh, and as we know, those projects take five years, seven years, eight years. If we don't move that up to two or three years, we will not make it. Now, China, on the other hand, is ahead of its net zero targets, according to the head of the International Renewable Energy Agency. Already beyond their targets. They are going faster than they say. Because usually now the Chinese, as culture, when they commit, they want to be sure to get a result. So they say 2060, but I'm sure that they will be fast enough to be already achieving their goal uh, well before the 2060. OPEC's renewed forecast of a deficit in oil this quarter, bumping the price of crude higher on international markets. Both Brent and WTI up by more than half a percent.